Hi fam, this is OsoX for OsoXDeeds.com and on today's video we'll show you how to get a portable setup for the Rogue Ally console also show you how to play the Rogue Ally with two players we'll show you how to connect it and use it with uh, power and portable Arsopa monitor as well as we'll show you how to pair and connect the Bluetooth, the Xbox Series X controller via Bluetooth to the portable gaming computer that's the Asus ROG Ally. So let's take all, all the stuff, let's take it out of the backpack. This is their SOPA portable monitor in HD with a high refresh rate. We can power all of this with a power bank right here, the best power bank for the ROG Ally right now. I'll put all of the parts here in the description below as well as a guide with the timestamps on them. Okay, so this is a USB-C cable that's gonna connect from the ROG Ally to the Arsopa monitor. This is the laser keyboard on the right for productivity. It's already paired via Bluetooth with the ROG Ally to surf the web or to work. So we use one USB connection, that's all the USB-C that ROG Ally has, and then we connect the other side to the second USB-C port on the SOPA monitor and it's gonna power and transmit the video and audio directly to the monitor and it's gonna measure it so you can play with two players. One player uses the SOPA monitor, the other player uses the Rogalai as a controller and a monitor. Now, this handle here is a USB-C cable for the, the power bank. So the power bank, since it has 65 watts output, it can power the SOPA monitor and be a pass-through is gonna power the monitor and the ROG Ally at the same time. If you see here, 87%. Now, it's gonna show us in the ROG Ally that's power PD, on power, it's low. Now, we turn on the Xbox controller, but it's not connected. We need to press on this button on the back, and it's gonna flash faster. That's pairing mode. And the ROG Ally is gonna detect it, it says, new Bluetooth game controller found. Do you want to pair it, connect to it? It's asking as well. Okay, that's the easier way to do it. We're going to do it the hard way as well. So let's go into search on Windows 11. Search and this, let's type Bluetooth. In this case, B is enough. It recognizes the Bluetooth and other devices settings. Let's click on it and then let's turn on Bluetooth if it's not on already. Let's turn on the Bluetooth and then it's gonna ask us for add device. Connect a new device to Ally, to the ROG Ally. We press add device, and then it's gonna show us all the devices that are connected via Bluetooth or that are in pairing mode. So we go to Bluetooth, audio devices, mice, keyboards, phones, pens, controllers. Controllers, that's what we wanna do. It's gonna show us again that list of all the Bluetooth devices that are connected or in pairing mode. Let's press the button, let's keep pressing on it until it starts blinking faster. We gotta keep keep it pressed and then here it has been discovered xbox wireless controllers we click on it or we tap on it with the the touch screen on the rock ally and it's gonna get it connected now we can play games whether are uh, native pc steam or emulation with two controllers we can play two player games so if the game is one player it will recognize both controllers as the same one in case, uh, let's see, one game that we have here, Native PC, Haiku the Robot. So the gamepad is already uh, it's already mapped for Xbox. All the controls will recognize. Let's play one level real quick. And you can change the screens also. You can change the display settings. See, you, you can see the gamepad working right now. You can right click on the desktop and go to display settings and then change which device you want to display the image on, the SOPA monitor or the ROG Ally or both. Okay, so that's player two we're using right now, the Xbox controller, and we can use player one as well just by using the ROG Ally. Right now it's a map for desktop mode. We need to go to the command center key. We gotta press the command center key to change it to gamepad, but uh, still it's playable. The controllers have a desktop mode and a gamepad mode to use the desktop, the windows, and the productivity applications, or use it as a gamepad for gaming. That was how to play two-player mode by connecting your Bluetooth Xbox controller on a total mobile setup with the ROG Ally. 
Thank you for watching. There's no shame in the video game. God bless. And as always, peace. And I'm out.